Hello people, how are you doing? I hope you're doing fine. Um, today we will talk about reading skills. And first of all, uh, just to remind you that reading skill is a passive skill. So you are getting information, you are not producing information at first. Um, and so here I will also bring you an example of a TOEFL uh, reading uh, test, some, some questions, some examples, a, a text that was used before in a TOEFL, in a way for you to be prepared for um, tests, tests in the future, uh, for university, interchange, whatever you want to do with your uh, reading skill okay. or even reading a, a book or whatever. But uh, as I know, you are leaving the high school, I hope. Uh, you, you have to start to think about university, about interchange, about to keep your um, life as a student, of course, if you want to. First of all, uh, I will recap some read strategies um, because uh, we have these strategies uh, that you can use for reading. Uh, just uh, telling you that sometimes, uh, most of the times, they happen uh, in different uh, orders, it's not so clear that they happen in this uh, specific order. You can do all together at the same time, but it's, it's great for you to know uh, how to do it, okay? So the first one we have here is previewing. Uh, so get an idea without without actually reading. So, and here we have an example. You see the picture. This is uh, Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan is a folk singer, uh, guitar player, and uh, writer. And you can see he's reading a, a a paper, and it's the cover is War Declared. So. Uh, you have to know that the preview you see just war declare, you know what's talking about. Okay? And then skimming, run your eye, your eyes, sorry, very quickly. And then you just okay, let's see what they're talking about. You get more information, scanning, sweeping your eyes like a radar, uh, to find specific pieces of information. So get some chunks of information. And intensive reading. Uh, is the tail is the real reading reading for sure so you will stop and say okay read every word there is in the paper okay so this is the first uh, strategies for you to use uh, if you, if you want more detail about reading strategies you can go uh, to the class for the second grade students where I detail more about the reading strategies, but it was supposed to third grade uh, high school students uh, to be already informed by this information. But if you don't, you can go back there and check it out in more detail. So here, the text I choose from TOEFL is a text talking about computers. Uh, I will not read the whole text in the class because I will send you the text uh, both by SIGA and in the Google Classroom for you to read quietly, to read uh, in a more uh, proper way, I would say. But I point out some information in the text that can be important for us to discuss. So. First of all, the contest. Text to talk about computers. 
Here I brought you the picture. This picture is from a band named Kraftwerk. It's a German band and it's the cover of the record Computer World, released in 1981, um, where the, uh, those musicians, they thought in the future, computer would control all people's lives and they were right. So here, let's talk about computers. So machines that perform tasks, uh, they follow a set of instructions. So you see here first the definition. Then we go a little bit of history. The first computers were developed in 1940s. They were huge machines and they require teams of people to operate. So nowadays we can have a computer in our hands, you know, smartphones, they are like computers in a way, and you can, you can operate by yourself, you don't need nobody to help you. But in the 40s, it was it, they were huge machines and necessary a lot of people to do it. But now we have nanotechnology, Everything that was bigger started to become smaller. Uh, so that's the difference from these uh, computers at the time and today's computers. You know? So now they are faster. They can fit on uh, different places and you know, on desk, your lap, or in your pocket. Um, so you can check the difference for the computers where they were in the past and they, they are now. So this is the first paragraph. The second paragraph, they go into more details like hardware and software. So hardware you can see and touch. So now he divides the computer into hardware and software and he's talking here more about hardware. So, and he's talking about a tiny rectangular ship is the CPU. As you can see here, we have an image of a CPU is the brain of the computer. So if the CPU is burned, destroyed, whatever, um, it's like, uh, I think that's a great analogy. It's like uh, when somebody has, um, when, when a person doesn't die, uh, people used to say the, the, the brain is dead, right? But the, the, the person has, the vital signs except the brain, right? So it's the same as the computer that you have. It, it's okay, all the components, but the CPU is not working. So it means this computer will not function. Okay, so going to the third paragraph, describe a little bit more about hardware and give some examples of hardware, monitor, keyboard, mouse, printer, and then it goes to software. And software are instructions that uh, we use in the computer to make the computer work. So if you don't give these structures, it will not happen anything. Uh, and they talk about operating system. So is the software that make the computer, the hardware work. Uh, and the most common is the Windows operating system. Most of people, they have it. We have other ones too, but it's the most commonly used. This is the picture of um, an old computer. As you can see, all of these buttons and places to touch, uh, they are completely different from the computers that we use nowadays. And now I will bring you some questions for you to answer uh, according to the uh, text. So the first one, according to the text, the first computers were, and then you have four uh, alternatives. One of them is right. The second one, according to the text, today's computers can fit in all the following, except, and then we also have four, and number three, software can be described as hardware devices, whatever. So here we have some uh, about it. I ask you to do like that, to pause the class here, 
try to answer the questions, and then when you come back, we have here the answers that are these ones. According to the text, the first computers were big machines operated by more than one person. So, as we talk uh, in the first paragraph mainly, you can see that uh, computers at the, the first ones, they, uh, they need a lot of people to uh, make it work. The second, according to the text, today's computers can fit in all the following except the palm of a hand. So this, this is the important thing to tell you because, of course, we know that now we have computers that can fit in the palm of the hand. But according to the text, so the source of information for you is the text. Forget about the whole word, just go with the text. And software can be described as instructions and programs that command command hardware. So these are the answers, the proper answers for these questions. For the, and this is an example for TOEFL. And TOEFL is a type of a test, test of uh, English as a foreign language. So for people who does not have English as the mother tongue, uh, some they do this text for universities, interchange and things like that. And I hope uh, this class uh, helped help you to be prepared to do uh, reading texts in English. Okay, so this is for today. Hope to see you soon. Bye.